Hey there, hi there, ho there, I am Shut Up James, and this is my reaction to the new trailer for Insidious 5. Or Insidious the Dark... No. The Red Door. The Red... The new Insidious movie. Shut up, James! Oh, oh my gosh. This, I'm surrounded by just stuff, just piles of things because someone's still redoing our bathroom, but I didn't want to not watch this trailer with you. I just got home from work, so I look like a mess, whatever. Super excited for this movie, though. This is the, I believe, the directorial debut of Patrick Wilson, who plays John Lambert in the first two Insidious movies. And of course, he's in Aquaman and the Conjuring universe and all that fun stuff, too. Now, I'm very excited for this movie specifically because it finally continues the Lambert family storyline. At the end of the second movie, we were kind of given this cliffhanger, like we were going to follow Elise and her her boys, her team, whatever, on more of these ghost hunting operations and such, right? And then part three came out and was a prequel. Still good, but a prequel. And then part four came out and was even more of a prequel. So that cliffhanger at the end of the second movie literally went nowhere until now. Now it's time for my obligatory plea. If you are watching this video and you're liking this video and you are commenting on this video, please subscribe to my channel. I was said page and channel, page channel, channel page. And turn on notifications so you can be reminded of when I do these ridiculous things. These trailers never come out on days I'm off from work. So I'm sorry that we're doing this so like pew pew pew. This is so impromptu. I'm not even watching on my laptop. We're gonna watch this on my phone. So is it called the Dark Realm or the Red Door? I'm seeing both. I think it's called the Red Door. The Red Door. Okay, it's the Red Door. It was the Dark Realm at one point. I feel like we're gonna get a teaser before the trailer, which is obnoxious, but you know, whatever. Okay, without further whatever, here we go. This is the trailer for Insidious 5. Insidious this many. Five, four, Three, two, one. Are you ready? We're ready to forget the further, once and for all. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Ten years later. My brain just been foggy the past few years. All oh, I ever wanted. Is he starting to remember? I forgot that they forgot. You ever try and get right, out? Sir. No, I'm just trying to push through. Hi, Dalton, or whichever son that is. Why don't you drive Dalton to college? You still have a few weeks before your students show up, right? Just an idea to reconnect. I know it's been tough with you too. Because y'all been through some the shit. The balance of light and dark is what we're after. You're in the art school, I take it? Yeah, you go here too? Yes. Draw an experience that defines you. When I was 10. I died. But I don't even remember being sick. Sink deep into your memory and let's see what light can find. <sighs> this freaking song oh, always. Seeing crazy stuff. I think these drawings could be clues Bring from us the demon back. So much you don't Bring know. us back the demon. I was too scared to tell you the truth. Our family has been keeping secrets. They suppressed our memories. Oh, did his mother die? I can still feel something following us. There's only one way to find out. Closer to something, or something's getting closer. Are we going back to the past? When you awaken the dead, the further you travel, the riskier your journey will become. Give us a Randy Meeks moment. Okay, well that was it. All right, I'm very excited for that. The trailer, it's weird. The trailer was great in the beginning, the building of tension and story and suspense and like bringing us back into the family element and all that stuff. For the first, like more than half of that trailer was very, very enthralling. I don't know, like I, I was in it. And then the end of the trailer kind of went down some predictable routes and the jump scares didn't really work for me, but that is 
fine. I mean, I'm hoping that because this is Patrick Wilson's first movie that he goes like balls to the wall. Because wasn't it Lee Whannell's first direct, like his directorial debut when he did Insidious Chapter 3? And even though that movie definitely feels a little bit different than the previous two, it's still a good solid movie, like directorial wise. Like it is, it is beautiful to look at. Now that I'm thinking about it, is that the one that has the end where we're gonna follow Elise? Elise and, and the two, and Lee Winnell and the other guy, like, show up at, like, a family home, and the the demon sound happens. Is that the end of two, or is that the end of three? Guess I have to rewatch all these movies. I'm just, I'm very excited for this. I'm excited to have this family back. I'm excited to see all these people grown up. When it said ten years later, it lost my mind. Now, I've never done this before, but we're actually gonna watch another trailer right now. I've heard of this movie called The Boogeyman, or Boogeyman, or Boogeyman. <laughs> Either way, whatever. It's based on something by Stephen King. This is not in relation to the Boogeyman movie that came out back in like the early 2000s. That was trash. So we're gonna jump right into this one. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. The Boogeyman. When there are scary things we don't understand, our minds try to fill in the blanks. Sometimes the best thing to do is to face it. So this light is going to be completely solid like it is right now. Then gradually, it's going to start flashing until it's totally dark. Why? So you can see that there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh. Okay? I feel like that's not what's going to happen. See? That's not so scary, is it? Just you, your sister, and me. You're doing okay. No, I'm not doing okay. Stop being. It's okay. It's okay. Why would you do that? Why not be like, we'll leave the lights on so you can see that nothing is real? What the hell? Mm -hmm. It's all just in your head. You need to grow up! I'm serious, Sawyer! I need to be alone! You're both having these manifestations. What is this supposed to be? Oh, that guy. The thing that comes for your kids when you're not paying attention. to me okay i'm listening <laughs> sweetheart let me handle it. okie dokie i don't know i don't know what to make of that trailer i i enjoyed it uh the jump scares all worked i love when there are moments where like there's a like a, a father figure a mother figure like a family element and you know there's that moment where the whole movie is you following like the protagonist and no one believes them and then when there's a family element and the family starts to get on it like i think this started with poltergeist for me like poltergeist is such a good iconic classic scary movie right but the main thing that drives that story is the family element once the family starts buying into what's going on it makes it that much more scary i get annoyed when like you're watching a protagonist the whole time and no one believes them and then that just continues the movie starts and and ends with no one having believed them. Obnoxious. It's the Red Door. Okay, so when do these come out? We've got Insidious the Red Door, July 7th, and we've got The Boogeyman, June 2nd. So The Boogeyman comes out first, then we get Insidious. Are you excited for these movies? Please comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. I haven't done a trailer reaction in a long time. Oh, you know, there's another one coming out. What's that? Like, Talk To Me? Is that what it's called? Maybe I'll react to that soon. But I wanted to come home and watch these with you, so I'm glad that I did. This was fun. I am Shut Up James. Thank you for watching this video and visiting this channel and, and doing all the things. Goodbye. Shut up, James!